little thing I wanted to bring to us and everyone in the chat. Uh, definitely share your thoughts on this. We had 10 episodes in season three. We kind of gave you our thoughts about the season as a whole, but I just want to kind of know from a, a ranking perspective, I'm going to bring up all 10 episodes this season. Uh, you don't have to rank all 10, but if you had like your top two, top three, top five, or if you want to rank all 10 of them, by all means do so. But Brent, I'm going to start with you. Again, it doesn't have to be all 10 episodes. I have them listed below. But if you were to rank them in regards to which one stood out to you, um, what would that list look like for you, man? Again, from three slaps, uh, Santa Claus is coming, to so on and so forth. What was your top tier memorable episodes of this season? Number one, of course, is uh, Rich, Rich Wigger Poe Wigger. Uh, number two is Three Slaps. That was the first episode. <laughs> um, number three will probably be episode two, I think. Um, with the Tupac stuff, yeah. Your favorite of the show of was uh, Rich Rich Rigger. Rigger. Oh, that was your for favorite. sure, yeah. for sure. And, and, and three slaps is number two. Number two, awesome. Yeah. Okay, because I okay. feel like you had time to. I, I had <laughs> thought about this. I was going to actually make a separate video. I just didn't have time to kind of fit into the schedule. But I, I think for me, my number one episode is three slaps. Uh, because as a TV watcher, being thrown off, we haven't seen Earn Van. Al and Darius in four years. And the fact that they opened, and of course we got earned at the very last of this episode, but the fact that they tied into Devontae Hart's story and all that stuff going on, and a lot of people not even being aware of that story to see in this episode. I think Donald Glover said that he wanted this to be like a folk, like a fairy tale for black people. So we know, unfortunately, what happened to Devontae Hart, he, you know, yeah. and the other kids as well, they they passed away. But in this narrative, we got a happy ending, which was, you know, nice to have that kind of fantasy be played out. So I just thought that that episode was fantastic. Second episode to me, uh, and this is, Tyra, you brought up many, many, uh, you know, very beginning, you said Paperboy was, you know, a lead character, and I totally agree with you. And that's why, for me, uh, New Jazz was my second favorite episode, because I love exploring his his mind and i thought this was a perfect sequel to woods which was another episode that tied into him and his mindset and him losing his mom and i think this obviously with lorraine being brought up the name of his mom so i just love was it real was it fake was it in his head that whole culture uh cancel club scene was so great to me so that to me was my second favorite episode uh followed by number three rich wigger poe wigger i mean we talked about it last week b it was just so many different things to, to to laugh about but also talk about and the conversation me and had and him passing as a you know he's he's biracial but he leans more on his white side and all the different stuff that we got there you know rest in peace kevin samuels all that stuff so that is my number three which brings me to number four which i gotta say uh this uh white fashion to me was a really good solid episode as well Again, doesn't not a coincidence that it was a more of a uh, an owl focused episode and just kind of tying into does he want to continue this lifestyle as being a rapper, as being paper boy, and all the stuff that comes with it, uh, and him you know kind of testing him as a, as an individual. So that's my number four. Uh, let's see, five is probably uh, the old man in the tree because I, I think that that episode really kind of gave us like what's going on with Van. They kind of planted mm -hmm. the season in that episode, and obviously going on with Fernando and the tree and everything going on with Darius, and that's where we got introduced to Socks crazy ass, which uh, brings us into my next episode is probably uh, the, the cancer episode, Cancer Attack. I thought that was a really interesting episode, a very ominous ghost tones, and, and Wiley, we can't forget Wiley, that weird ass dude, and was mm -hmm. he real? Was he a, a ghost? Was he uh, Al subconscious is the conversation a lot of people are bringing up, uh, and then kind of wrapping up the rest of my, uh, this kind of the last three Trace to the Bone, I had a good time with that episode. Little Sebastian and, and Sylvia had me dying <laughs> laughing. Uh, and again, I took away just like the lack of culture he was given. He had to seek culture elsewhere. Uh, and we saw again Tom Hanks' son being in there. And we, you know, everyone has their thoughts on him kind of stealing people's culture. So I really had fun with that one. And then also, I guess the last ones I have on my list would probably be uh, episode two, which, you know, it didn't really. I enjoyed it. The Tupac moment was funny, but it didn't. It's not a standout episode to me. And then the finale for me is probably where it comes in last. And even though I really enjoyed the finale, I just think the other nine episodes had a little bit more to say, a little bit more to offer, and things of that nature. So there's my list, top ten. Wow, Tyra, if you want to, again, you don't have to share all ten. If you have a top three oh, or a top five, five, because okay. personally, it wasn't. You know how it was it a standout season, right? Right. <laughs> but. First for me is going to definitely be New Jazz. I really enjoyed the connection with uh, the previous season. They like connected it so well, even with the three dudes approaching him and his counter reaction. Like I loved it. 
And second would be um, three slaps for, you know, the same reasons. I thought that was amazing. I um, I kind of enjoyed the big payback. So that would be third because it was just, I was like, whoa, just, it was, it was nice trying to, you know, connect the dots there and go on the journey with that person. I would say... Uh, fourth would be Cancer Attack, and then my fifth episode would be The Old Man in the Tree. Nice. That's nice. where I'm at. Very yeah. cool. Well, Mainly listen. Though, New Jazz yeah. and Big Three Slaps. Those were like those the best ones. episodes yep. to me. I agree. Would you say they're top? They compete with like a Teddy uh, Perkins type of level as far as they quality and writing? Perkins is special, you know? That's special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, new jazz is pretty freaking close. Like and three slabs for him to them to bring that back up into the forefront with Devonte Hark is I. It was you know it kind of you know tugged at your heartstrings and like poked at your guilty conscience. Like yeah, you you forgot about him because I like we, we did you know we become so desensitized to stuff because we see you know different occurrences. It's like we really did, and it took me. It, it was like fun to go on the journey and then connect the dots and go. This is looking familiar, but I'm not sure what's happening here. And then once you get you know free hugs and the hat and the whole you're like oh i know what this is so that was great and it was a great you know open for the season to let us know this is not going to go the way you think it is <laughs> well said well said and also too i, I we we got to get uh tracy back he got to come back for season four he, <laughs> he, somehow <laughs> like we we follow up with him he, he the waves are gone you know when we follow up with him and he's like now he has his own business or something that would be really <laughs> trippy if that's the case but Oh, 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 oh,